be doing story time with some engaging things. And today, I'm going to be reading chapter one of the first book of Captain Underpants. And yes, I know it's backwards. So let's get started. I'm doing this very quickly, so yeah. Meet George Bird and Harold Hutchins. George is the kid on the left with the tie and the flat top. Harold is the one on the right with the t-shirt and the bad haircut. Remember that now. Flower shop. Pick your own roses. George and Harold were best friends. They had a lot in common. They lived right next door to each other, and they were both in the same fourth grade class at Jerome Horowitz Elementary School. I always have trouble pronouncing that name. George and Harold were usually responsible kids. <coughs> Whenever anything bad happened, George and Harold were probably were usually responsible. But don't get the wrong idea about these two. George and Harold were actually very nice boys. No matter what everybody else thought, they were good, sweet, and lovable. Well, okay, maybe they weren't so sweet and lovable, but... They were good nonetheless. Nonetheless. It's just that George and Harold usually ha George and Harold each had a silly streak a mile long. Usually that silly streak was hard to control. Sometimes it got them into bit into trouble. And once it got them into big, big trouble. But before I can tell you that story, I have to tell you this story. And that was the end of Captain Underpants. Chapter 1. Peace out. Boom, boom.